This is a Vermona ER9. It's an East German drum machine manufactured in the 70s and 80s. It's a standard drum machine with pre-programmed rhythms, but it has some nice features and a quite unique sound. This specific one have a few issues. For example, the cowbell is constantly ringing with a sine wave. The rock program button won't stick, so you can't play it without holding the button in. And lastly, some of the volume knobs, especially the main one, crackles when you turn them. The output is a 5-pin DIN, a format common in the 70s. All you need to do to open it up is to unscrew these two screws. And you can then just lift the lid open and access the innards. Very easy to service. To the right we see the volume knobs for all the individual sounds. This is the rhythm selection buttons. These select rhythm patterns from a grid of diodes that is on two circuit boards here. Most of the rest of the circuit boards are sound generation circuits. The rhythm selection buttons are just screwed in with four flathead screws. There's a little pin that pops up and down to lock the button in place and on the broken button that pin is permanently stuck up. Once I pushed it down again with a needle, it works. The droning beep from the cowbell was even easier to fix. It's simply the resonant circuit that had gone out of whack and was resonating all the time instead of only when the cowbell was hit. Lastly I sprayed contact cleaner on the volume knobs and uh, turned them around until they stopped crackling. And now as you can see Everything works perfectly. Old analog machines like this has a lot of potential for modification and circuit bending. The easy bits would be to add potentiometers to these uh, trim pots that you can see here. They modify the sound in different ways. But the only one I found that I really liked was this one which changes the pitch and the decay of the bass drum. But uh, even with such a change this doesn't exactly turn into a techno machine. You can even add MIDI to this. There are circuit boards available to uh, modify this kind of drum machines with MIDI. So I cleaned everything up inside and out and put it back together and it's now fully functioning. The guy I bought this from has been taking good care of this drum machine, it wasn't very dirty, doesn't smell of smoke or anything like that, so it's now in tip top perfect shape. This model has uh, not only the separate volume knobs for each sound, which is unusual for drum machines of this type, it also has these push pull buttons, so it's easy to mix rhythms. As you can hear, not all combinations make much sense. What I do really like with this drum machine though is its sound. It has a very clicky, very sharp sound with short decay, which makes it a very nice machine for nice 
loungy, laid back songs. If you like the sounds, there are sample packs available online. I'll put a link in the description. And that's all. Thanks and bye.